Step 1. Trace pattern on the back side of your chosen topper fabric and cut out your core fabric. Step 2. Sew the core to the back side of the topper. Make sure the core is centered on the pattern. I'm using a wavy stitch but any stitch can be used here. Tip. You can use washable glue stick to hold your core in place while sewing. Make sure to always lock in your stitches at the beginning and end of your sewing. This step is optional. A center stitch is called a channel stitch and encourages quicker absorption. Step 3. Attach the backer. We are essentially sewing it inside out and will flip it at the end. This pad will have a fleece backer. Lay the correct sides of the fabric facing together. Now pin topper and backer together. I like to pin outside of the pattern, especially if I'm using PUL as a backer. Use as many pins as you need. Step 4. Sew together on the line. Plan out your turn hole that you will be leaving in sewn. It's easiest to leave this on a straight edge if your pattern has one. If your pattern has sharp corners, make sure to pivot with the needle down and rotate the fabric. If your fabric is stretchy, you may need to lift the presser foot to relieve the tension on the fabric. This is true, especially around curves. Be patient. As you come back around to where you started, you'll leave one and a half to two inches in sewn as your turn hole. Remove the pins from your fabric if you didn't remove them as you were sewing. Step 5. Trim the pad. I'm using pinking shears and cutting approximately one quarter away from the sew line. You can use regular scissors for this. You'll just have to snip into the fabric around the curves after you trim it. Leave extra fabric at the turn hole about half inch. This will make your finished product look cleaner. Step 6. Snip into inner corners. This releases the tension on the fabric and it'll help your fabric lay flat when flipped inside out aka the correct way. You can do 1 to 3 snips. Just be careful to not cut the thread. Step 7. Flip the pad inside out through the turn hole. A magic wand helps push out the ends and wings, but a chopstick also works if you don't have a magic wand. Adjust the fabric as needed with your fingers. Step 8. Time to top stitch. Using a straight stitch, sew round the entire pad approximately one quarter inch from the edge. When you get to the turn hole, tuck the extra fabric in so it's flush with the outside of the pad. Add snaps on your wings and it's done. If you use glue, pop it in the washer before using to wash the glue out. 